from the Dukas Copy TV studio in Geneva. We are talking about the new sustainable development goals and what would they mean for business, especially when it comes to biodiversity conservation. We are talking with Mr. Francis Forhees. He's founder and director of EarthMind. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So in September, the United Nations General Assembly plans to adopt a new set of sustainable development goals. What are these about and who actually uh, contributed and how were they developed? Oh my gosh, they, they basically cover the sustainable development goals, cover all the different topics we're concerned about with this planet, both on the social side on the and the environmental side and the social side there's employment issues, issues of education, poverty alleviation, on the environment side, there's issues of climate change, of course, nature conservation. And they come out of the, um, the, the discussions that were held in 2012 that were called Rio Plus 20. And this is uh, 20 years after the first Rio Conference on Sustainable Development. And so since 2012, our governments have been very busy negotiating a new agenda, if you will, a new set of targets for sustaining the planet in both social and environmental terms. Mm -hmm. And what role did the business play in drafting these uh, new goals? Well, in a sense, business doesn't play an official role because this is done by our governments. But I think this time around, with this type of international system, the business sector had a much bigger role than it had in the past. And that started back in Rio Plus 20, when the governments were meeting in Rio, the business sector came in in force. Big corporations were there, chief executive officers were there. And basically they were coming to say, yes, we've been addressing climate change, but we know there's other issues. And so the voice of business in saying that we need to look at this thing holistically, it's not just about climate, it's about climate, conservation, communities, poverty, and so on, has been quite important. And so I think what we have here is we have a, a real set of goals that is negotiated by our governments, but reflects private sector concerns as well. Mm -hmm. And so they were included somehow. Will they also be included in the implementation of these goals? Well, that's also very interesting is that these goals are goals for the whole planet. Well, the previous goals were called the Millennium Development Goals, were goals for developing countries. Now they're goals for the whole planet. And th the zero draft document, which has just been released, that will be the final negotiating document, actually states that we should all be involved and very explicitly states that business should be involved. So this is not just about our governments, it's about us. And it's about us in our capacity in companies, in banks, in universities, in NGOs, and so on. And so, yes, there's a very explicit role for business in um, delivering these goals. And EarthMind, as an organization, sees itself as an interface of business and nature conservation. So when we talk about uh, bio or bio biodiversity conservation, mm -hmm. so uh, where, uh, what do the goals say, the sustainable development goals about biodiversity, uh, biodiversity conservation? Well, what's interesting is that back in the original real meeting in 1992, we launched a number of very big conventions. One of them was on climate change, another was on biodiversity, and the third was on desertification. Now, here we are 25 years later or more, and we're now saying, how do we link those together? So these set of goals, there's 17 goals in, in total, these 17 goals link climate, biodiversity with the other topics that I said, and they're very explicit about biodiversity. Goal 14 is on marine issues and fisheries. Goal 15 is on terrestrial issues and wildlife conservation and, and protected areas and so on. And so we have, now what you, you have is a, a, a sort of integrated commitment to learning and conserving our planet and learning how we can develop as our societies without killing the planet. Mm -hmm. And can you make an example what the new sustainable development goals would mean in terms of biodiversity um, conservation for businesses now? So for example, the, um, in the, um, the 17th goal is called the means of implementation. And in that goal, the focus is on what are the tools we need to implement these other aspirations. And they talk about trade as a means of implementation and finance. And so there you are right with the private sector, both 
mobilizing resources and production of goods and services. So in the case of finance, what we have is an increasing interest in making sure that new investments are biodiversity responsible, that they minimize their footprint on the landscape, that they respect wildlife, that they use resources sustainably. The same thing when it comes to trade. Now, looking at how international trade flows, we can think of controversial issues like palm oil from Southeast Asia, soybeans from Brazil, and so on, can take place, can, deliver, can happen, but in a way that's responsible for the environment. And so, yes, what we've got is a, a number of real opportunities under these new sustainable development goals for the private sector, both on the banking side and the production side, to integrate biodiversity concern, biodiversity responsibility in their business operations, their investment decisions and so on. Thank you very much, Francis Voorhees, for being here today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And thanks for watching. Do make sure to keep clicking back on the Dukas Copy TV website for latest updates and exclusive interviews. Have a great day and see you next time.